Hi, my name is Margaret Bogenreef, and I'm a partner at ACM Partners, a boutique financial advisory firm located here in Chicago. For today's TMA video blog, we're going to be looking at the debacle that is the recent JCPenney story and really see where everything's gone wrong. First, let's take a look at Ron Johnson, the CEO. Now, before he came to JCPenney, Ron Johnson had worked retail magic at such stores as Target and Apple. Here's the issue. When he transferred those skills to JCPenney, what Johnson did was assume that his customer base would follow him. As you can see, JCPenney is a completely different store and story from both Target and Apple. Consequently, Johnson's been left floundering as the wrong man for the wrong job. Secondly, that brings us to JCPenney's customer base. Now, when Johnson took the helm at JCPenney, he brought with him a certain set of assumptions about individuals who would be shopping at the store. As we've been able to see since 2011, Johnson's been completely wrong in reading his customer base, thinking that they would follow where he leads. Now, within the shrinking department store landscape, Johnson could not be more wrong in both assuming who his customer is and what he or she wants. That brings us to product. Really, what is Ron Johnson thinking? Here's the issue. The JCPenney customer expects a certain type of product and a certain type of experience. When Johnson took the helm of JCPenney in 2011, what was the first thing he did? Brought in more expensive product and started catering to a completely different customer base. Here's the issue. The JCPenney consumer is not really a consumer at all, but traditionally middle American families. Now, when Johnson took over JCPenney in 2011, like I said, he started bringing in better, more expensive product. Now, if you're parents in middle America or traditional consumers of JCPenney, you don't want to be bringing your children to a store where they're going to be begging for items that are either out of your price range or simply not appropriate for them. Johnson didn't take this into consideration. Consequently, instead of drawing in younger millennials and other consumers like that, he's just driv driven away the typical JCPenney consumer. This brings us to our final point. What's the deal with the web? When Johnson took control of JCPenney, he ignored one simple fact. E-commerce is simply becoming commerce. In all the hubbub surrounding Johnson's pricing and marketing strategies, little was written about his plans to change the way JCPenney shoppers consume. And that's the issue. He never had an internet strategy. And you can see that starting to affect JCPenney's bottom line. No amount of fancy commercials or great advertising can make up for a bad website. So there we have it. What's most interesting is Johnson's strategy will work somewhere else, just not at JCPenney. For TMA's video blog, this is Margaret Bogenry. Thanks so much for watching.